coach San Antonio right out of the gates, applying a lot of pressure and transition in the paint and defensively yeah. as well. Just what made it most difficult for your group to combat that tonight? Yeah, I mean, it was they just they just outpunked us in every way possible. You know, outran us, outcompeted us, outphysical us. Uh, it was you know it was ugly and unacceptable. And you know we knew <clears throat> that they were they're, they're a hard playing team, and this is two hard playing teams that have come in here and played the game the right way and made more efforts than us. Um, you know, those aren't things that, uh, you know, we, we certainly uh, can tolerate, but, uh, you know, we got to figure out why. And, um, you know, a lot of it is our connectivity right now has got to be better, you know, both ends of the floor. So, What went into your decision to stick with your starters in that fourth? I mean, just trying to see if we can make one last push, you know, so. And also just trying to get them to play together a little bit too, you know, try to figure some stuff out. We got an off day tomorrow after the back to back and, you know, they didn't, they, you know, they got a little bit of a rest. We played them probably more minutes than we'd like, but, you know, we got to figure some stuff out. And the only way to do it is out on the floor. So. Chris, did you get, do you think it was more tonight effort, energy, that than like execution? And I think like it learning? was both at times, John. Uh, you know, I think, um, you know, we start the great, great first possession of the game, and then it, like the next three possessions were, I think, zero or one pass shots. They were bad shots. They led to run outs. They run, they they go on a 10-0 run, and um, you know, then you know we start the third quarter in much the same, you know, much the same vein. You know, missed a couple bunnies, and uh, execution was rough. But just the willingness to like want to share the ball tonight was not there. Um, and that is was a big step back from where I thought we had gone. But, uh, you know, all credit to them. They kicked their ass and we felt it. In terms of defense, it seemed like all it took was maybe two passes to get an open look. Like, what, where are the breakdowns coming most that are just... Yeah, I mean, to breakdowns use? coming at point of attack. We can't, you know, we cannot, you know, we cannot contain the ball effectively. Um, and then, you know, we're, we're, um, we're living in our paint all night long. You know, and then, um, you know, one pass away from a three, so... Yeah. Last year's team won 46 because it played the right way mm -hmm. most of the time. You only added a player who plays the right way. Mm -hmm. So where do you seeing as the difference um, right now, and why yeah, is that group not doing that? You know, it's uh, honestly we got our you know our our, our backcourt has got to give itself up to the to the to the offense a little bit more. You know, I think there's just too much kind of come on, come down and take on the teeth of the defense. Um, you know, not enough. Uh, Movement early in the, in the offense, not enough thrust early in the offense. Um, you know, we're just kind of waiting and then pretty one dimensional. And you know, so, um, yeah, I think that's to, it. You had to coach playing hard when you first got here. Do you think it's getting back to the point where you have to do that again? Um, I mean, I think, uh, I don't, you know, I don't think it, I don't think it's, we got to coach playing hard but we have to understand what our where our flaws are and how we have to cover them you know um such as like you know we we may not be the fastest foot from end line to end line but we've got to make a better effort we got to take good shots and we can't turn it over and we got to make sure that we have an opportunity to set our defense as best we possibly can um when we do get get caught in transition we just you know we got to make you know, we got to we got to read the floor, make the right matchups, and then with Rudy on the floor, you know, we gotta we gotta protect him by rebounding better. Like he's going to help, um, and that's what we want him to do. But we're just not physical enough. So, um, yeah. I was just going to ask you. You kind of answered it, but in transition defense, is it floor balance or is it effort or both? I think it's both at times. I mean. Um, you know, some of the so for sure the shot selection is catching us off balance, particularly with the two bigs out there. Um, and then it, you know I see times it just running by us too. So, when you, what's the biggest thing that this team has to do to help Rudy rebound? What are what are the one or two areas? They gotta put their body on people. You know they don't they 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 don't allow. You know they just gotta they gotta seek out um, opportunities to put their body on people and then compete for the ball, you know, with, with more physicality. Like it just, you know, right. With some of our guys out there, it just kind of feels like man and boys, you know. Can a loss like this refocus a team? It, early I, ho I would hope so. You know, I would hope so. so. 
Yeah, Coach, you said that you uh, put the starters back in to, you know, kind of get them to play together. Did you see anything that you can uh, build on moving forward in that span of time? Or, like, what do you think you're going to be able to do moving forward? Uh, I mean, the only thing that really kind of gave me any any kind of, you know, positive uh, – feelings was our you know our zone looked pretty pretty good at times got a little better there 